We're kicking off uh, bowl season in style on the teal turf. Georgia Southern taking on Ohio. Georgia Southern at six and six on the year. Ohio at nine and three, but Georgia Southern's offense is probably taking into transfers into account maybe the best unit in this game. 30 points per game um, until their four game losing streak to end the season. Ohio has an elite defense, though. They have a lot of portal losses on the offensive side of the ball. Curtis Rourke, maybe the best QB in the G5. Wide receiver Miles Cross, top two running backs, a linebacker in the portal. There's a lot of guys that are missing for the Bobcats. So the squad's going to look a little bit different than it did in the regular season. So they're turning to a third string quarterback, um, active leader in both passing and rushing yards as we enter this uh this game so it's going to be fascinating to see just exactly how the bobcats adapt to this because like we said you know a really successful season at nine and three they lost a tough one to miami ohio to keep them out of the mac championship game and georgia southern kind of slumped towards the end of the year they started out hot they had some good wins um you know early in the season beat georgia state in a rivalry game but down the stretch they really faltered um in that four game losing streak a couple teams we'll talk about tonight had a similar situation. Odds are favoring Georgia Southern. Guys, I'm personally still leaning towards Ohio in this one. I, I you know, before the losing streak, Georgia Southern looked like a really solid team in the Sun Belt. That Sun Belt East just beat each other up all season long. Every team in the division ended up bowl eligible. But I'm leaning Ohio in this one, not just against the spread. I actually like them outright. I think they have the coaching advantage in this one. I think they have the talent advantage on defense to kind of stifle that offense from Georgia Southern a long time to prepare for this one. I'm even going to lay and I'll kind of tease out how I'm going to do this, you know, confidence point wise. Personally, I like to look at, you know, who's motivated to be here. Obviously portal and opt out situations matter a lot, but who's motivated and where can you steal a few points from the public? The public is really heavy on Georgia Southern. If you look on the ESPN Bowl Championship websites, I like Ohio this one. I'm going to lay somewhere between 11 to 15 points on this one. So not all in on the Bobcats, but enough to give you a little bit of an edge. Trey, I hear you with Ohio's defense, and I was a big proponent of Ohio's defense early in the season, took them to beat Miami of Ohio. I picked them to win the MAC. Obviously didn't happen. Um, the issue for me is Curtis Rourke's in the portal. His backup is hurt. What do you know about Parker Navarro? Uh, and is the only fact going to be that he is both their leading rusher and passer at this current time? Yeah, you know, we don't know a lot about the kid. Bowl season <laughs> is where you can make a name for yourself, though. And that's what that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping Georgia Southern doesn't have a lot of tape on, uh, tape on the guy. But they won't. Uh, I don't they think won't. anyone does. So we'll see. Yeah, the only thing I know about Parker Navarro is that Parker and Navarro are both names of community colleges around here. So that's yeah. that's about all I know about in him. counties, Parker and Navarro County right next yeah, to each other. A couple of counties. I think that yeah. might be where those community colleges reside. <laughs> um guys, I Curtis Rourke probably beats Georgia Southern, uh, but Curtis Rourke isn't playing this game. Uh they're no Miami, Ohio, that Ohio team. You know, that's that's that Mac champion Miami, Ohio, might I remind you. Uh, but no, it's 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 Georgia Southern for me on this one. It's a good offense. It's an offense that can play well. Give them a month off, you know, let let them or at least a couple weeks off, let them refocus, regroup. They're they're gonna win this bowl game. I, I'm gonna ride with uh, with Georgia Southern as well. That offense is still <clears throat> largely intact. Uh, Davis Brin throwing the ball through a lot of interceptions for sure. I think 18 touch, no, 22 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. So he turned the ball over a lot, but uh, 3,400 yards passing. I just Ohio's defense is is great and all, but the moment Georgia Southern scores anything, I wonder if the Bobcats can respond. So I'm going to roll with Georgia Southern as well. Trey, as you mentioned, will be uh, giving out confidence points uh, throughout the night, every single bowl game. So feel free if you're in a confidence pool, use that as a betting guide, or if you're just picking them straight up, um, whoever you agree with. Trust your gut in this. There, there are no wrong answers in bowl season. I think we all found that out last year when we did a confidence pool. Um, I get murdered every single year just because nothing ever works the way that I think it does. Um, and, you know, who knows? Maybe that's the case this year. Gracious, yeah. how about that? 